Hey everyone, it's me, Stephanie Nietzsche. And as a new writer, you may ask yourself, how do I know if my story is boring? Well, this is what I would like you to do. When you read other authors' books, where in the story do you find that you started to, you know, maybe want to flip a few pages ahead or you started to daydream or you just started to lose interest, maybe even thought about picking up another book. Now, if this has happened to you, think about why, okay? Now, I know I read a story that involved a police investigation, and while the story started off so good, you know what happened? For me, there was just a little too much police investigation going on. So there was a missing persons case, it was a child, and of course, of course, the um, prime suspects are always the parents. So the detective, the police and the detective came and they questioned the parents. And that was all, you know, that was regular. That was fine. And then they came back the next day, which I guess would be the routine. And, you know, the dad starts worrying. He's like, oh, my gosh, I know I'm a suspect. Oh, my God. Because he was actually the last person that they knew that had saw the child because he had, he was the one that checked on the child. So he was worried. He was concerned. So as the pages went on and the story went on and the chapters went on, the detective was, you know, he was coming back. And the dad, again, oh my gosh, I'm so worried I was the last one. But it was repetitive. It was the same thing over and over again. So with that, there, to me, there was no moving forward in the story. It kind of just, you know, kind of just drifted on and on, you know, the same thing. There was no movement. And I lost interest. Did I finish the story? Yes but I became disconnected from the story while all that detective police stuff was going on. I really needed something different. That's what I find. So that is something that I wouldn't do when I was writing a story or when I'm writing a story. I will not, you know, continue writing the same thing over and over again if there's a police investigation or I don't know, any, any kind of, um, you know, when you have conflict, not the same conflict over and over again. Another thing that may draw draw the reader out of the story is uh, boring dialogue. So if the dialogue is just average everyday conversation and it's not really explaining anything, it's not moving the story along, it's not you know revealing anything or showing a character's true colors, then I would say yeah, try to you know try to stay away from that also. Another thing I would say, try to stay away from is if you're a fan of something, let's say hockey or ballet, and you're writing about it in a story, don't overdo it because not every reader is going to fall in love with hockey if they're not already a fan, or every reader is not gonna fall in love with ballet if they're not already a fan. So these things may be too much, especially if they don't know what you're talking about. Like if you're using the dance lingo or the sports talk where, your average sports person or dance person would know if the characters are using these words or these phrases or these terms and the reader has to, you know, stop, think about it or look up those words, that too is going to, you know, pull the reader right out of the story. So those are the things that will perhaps bore your reader, stop your reader from continuing to read just like you as a reader. So a lot of times I would say, for you as a reader and a writer, put yourself in the place of the reader. And if it's something that would, you know, be a snooze fest for you, <laughs> chances are it's going to be a snooze fest for them. <laughs> All right, everyone, it's me, Stephanie Nietzsche, and I'll see you next week. Keep reading, keep writing, and have a great day.